Netherlands in delivering on its promise um, to the Ghanaians, restoring macroeconomic stability, and achieving a high rate of economic growth in 2017. Government in 2017 abolished 17 nuisance taxes and refocused tax policy as a total to support production. The introduction of new taxes was de-emphasized to create an enabling environment for production to thrive. Government of the state at the same time has introduced a number of social intervention programs to benefit the greater mass of our people. An example was a targeted PAYE compliance exercise by GRA in 2017 to increase collection and block revenue leakages. Compared to 2017, PAI recorded a positive deviation of 9.8%. So this has been a given government. Government has shown faith um, to the citizenry, to civil society, and it is really time for the cynicism as to how government will apply the resources that we pay um, to be equally returned. Government has declared a tax amnesty for persons who have not registered with the Revenue Authority or filed their tax returns or paid their taxes as required by law. I entreat all to take advantage of this. An alternative dis tax dispute resettlement scheme is also being instituted to facilitate speedy resolution of taxpayer grievances. Government, while doing its best to make tax payment less burdensome, as stated by the Commissioner, will however not hesitate to enforce the tax laws and, where necessary, penalize and prosecute those who engage in criminal evasion. We have seen this before in the Kufour administration. We now have need a new spirit, a spirit of a Ghana beyond aid, a spirit of self-actualization, a spirit of self-dignity and pride in ourselves to make this development possible.